You've seen it live here. A hula hoop for worms. <laughs> I think I should get out more. <laughs> Right, here we are. UK metal detecting days. Let's hope we get something nice. Just going for a briefing. Well, this is it. This is my first field for today. It's not the biggest field in the world. But I'm going to have an hour in here and see what I find. Hey guys, uh, I, took, I dug a 3335 there, but now it's out. I keep getting 45. Anyway, it's in plug, so I'll get back in a minute. Well, no idea. Don't know what that is. I mean, it's some up. But I don't know what. Let's get on. I've got off. Don't know if you can hear that. It's 46 to 48. Not showing no on depth, no on ferrous. Non ferrous. Obviously, going to dig it. Well, there we go. That were a, a very quiet 46. Like that. Oh, Jesus. Look at that. Whoa. That's well gone. Bloody hell. Oh. I'm getting no off that, am I? Okay. How's a I mean I'll give it a clean later. But I think that green is what's left at coating. I don't want to rub it too hard. As you can see there's uh Let's get on. I'll give it a wash at dinner time. If it's out, it'll be uh down below. Now, if I found out what it is. All right, guys, in a bit. This is my first target. I moved to a different field. Um, and my first target in that new field is a koi. It's toasted, but it's first. All right, guys. 44, 46. 42 now. No, on ferrous at non ferrous. But solid 42, 43. It's in here somewhere. And there we are. Whatever that is, I mean, it looks like lead. They're a good number, though, for lead. Time guard? I don't know. Good old number, that one, though. Plugs open, guys, and it's, it's a better signal now. Still flicking about. I'm getting sort of 46, 48. Well, it's a great kind of metal. It's just wrong shape. <laughs> Let's get on. This has been a long time coming. It's not much. It's a threepenny bit. But it's been hard work today. But somebody has had um, a gold sovereign. There's been a couple of silvers turn up. And a few amids. I have a couple of buckles, but I'll show you them when we get on. Right, guys, I'm under a bloody holly bush here. Uh, can you see? And I've just got... 32. 
pretty solid. 32 each way, which probably means lead. You know me though, I can't leave that. And, well, I thought it were lead, but by what I can see in there, it's a either a coin or a button. And that is a coin. It shows you, doesn't it? Always go under trees. Oh, it's Victoria as well. Oh, lovely. Oh, that's absolutely made my day, that. I know a lot of you will be saying it's just a, a Victorian half penny, but that has made my day. I love Victorian coins. It was such an era in British history that finding them is oh, fantastic. Can we see a date on that? 62, I think, isn't it? 1862. Looks in reasonable condition. It's got a little dip there, which I didn't do. But there, look, under an olly bush, half a penny, 1862. And there she is, Queen Victoria. Let's get on and try and find another. Well, you never know when one of these will come in on the flippy neck. <laughs> Now this one interesting, I hit it and I was getting like a 20, 22, and I'm in multi one at the moment, okay, field multi one. So I checked it with 10 kilohertz because I, it's a web, uh, a YouTube channel, that New York City one with that metal, and some advice he got was, check your all with 10 kilohertz, and if you're still getting a good signal, then give it a dig. So I put it in a 10 and started getting 48, which is a good signal. Dug it up. And that came out. So, yeah. I mean, it was telling me it was a 20. Lovely signal at 20. And I found nice things at 20. But on 10 kilohertz, it jumped up to 48, even 50 sometimes. I just thought I'd show you that, guys. It's uh, maybe worth knowing, you know. All right, let's get on. Uh, I just got a really, really iffy 32, 33, right at side at wall. Right there, right at side at wall. And it's actually come out, it's a little toy care. And it's actually a Wolseley 1500. And I've got chassis, no body. But I've looked around for body as well and I can't find it. I was hoping I might be able to find it. But yeah, cool. 32, 33. I like it. <laughs> About 15 feet away from the last one. And we've got this. About bloody time, guys. Woohoo! Alright guys, I didn't film this because it's already been open as this, I haven't done all this. All I did was just move that clod which hadn't been put back very well, this one. And But it was showing up a 46, now, on a legend, as you know, 46 is a good number. All, you know, wherever I went it was 46. And I think I've just seen, yeah, there look. Can you see? So, whoever's been in here, didn't see that. Or didn't detect it, they were looking for something else. There you go. I don't know what it is. But I'll clean it when I get home. It's quite a thick thing. Oh, there's a, a date there, isn't there? That don't say 1698, does it? Never. Give us a minute to clean it up. Right, guys, well, that's it. That's Britannia. I haven't rubbed it. I don't know. What is that? George the Third, isn't it? There, look, can you see him? It's a bloody George the Third, half penny, I think. Wow. 
There you go. So whoever went in, that hole, if it ever focuses, there you go. Missed. A George the Third half penny. I mean, some of you will say, well, look at state of it. Would they be bothered? Don't know. I'm bothered. So that cat said 1600, can it? Because he was 70, yeah. Anyway, let's get on. It's another coin. By the wall again. Nice one. Yeah, as you can see, I've opened another hole. The other one were about there, where my coil is, LG24. And then here, listen. Well, I don't know if you can listen, actually. Hang on. Right, listen. Getting sort of 45s right up to 50. So, that were right at side. So, let's have a look. Tell you what, this day just gets better and better. Can you see that all? I've got LG24 on, right? And I've just dug. That's 11 inch. It's got to be a good 9 inch, 8 or 9 inch down. And I've just flicked it out. And it's there. So again, that other coin were basically here, and this coin were there. So whoever's dug that first hole has not missed one coin, they've missed two coins. Because this has just come out. And that... I don't know. I think we need a very light bit of water on that. Hang on. Oh shit, where's that gone? Uh, it's there. Uh, running out of bloody water now. Well, there's Britannia. Can you see her? I'm going to have to get up, guys. It's getting to the end of the day. <sighs> so we got Britannia. Come on, water. Yeah, I think you said it. <sighs> Can't see it. I don't think I've ever found a penny like that before, if it is a penny. What is it? Is that some at 99? I can't see it, guys, I'm sorry. You probably built to see it better than me. Might have to wait till we get home for this one. That's got like a thing around it, hasn't it? I've never seen it like that before. Wow. Right, well, guys, I'm not going to clean that anymore. I'm going to wait till I get home and give it a proper clean. If anyone knows what it is, give us a. Uh, just shows you though, doesn't it? Eh? And all there, and they missed two coins. A George the Third and whatever this is. I don't know what this is. But it's that. There you are, guys. Very happy with that. Let's crack on. Well, another. 35, 36. So have a dig. Well, you sort numbers, 35. And this has popped out. Very, very toasted. Very, very thin. I have no idea what that is, and I'm not going to uh, do much to that. I'll take that home and uh, see what we can get from it. But yeah, 35, 36. <sighs> Ah, 
Excellent. Let's get on. Guys, I've no idea I'm going to get in here. <laughs> Check out that though. 41. You won't believe it guys, I've just dug that out under this pissing tree. <laughs> and no, I can't find out at all. But I had to sort of scoop muck out. Guess what? It's here! There yeah, look! <laughs> it came out. Again, probably toasted. Another half penny maybe? Again, we're going to have to give it a clean. He's looking that way though, so... Oh! But there you go, you sort, of, you sort of numbers, 41, banging it was. Hey? Try and get a date off it. If I get out, it'll be on video. Good evening everybody. Thank you ever so much for subscribing and supporting us and our channel. But we haven't been going for long, so... Um, we really, really do appreciate your continual support. This is our first giveaway. All your names are in the circle. We're going to do shuffle the page twice and then go full screen. Good luck, everybody. Right then. So as you can see up here, there's a shuffle button. I'm going to do that once. If you watch the wheel, they do change and I'm going to do it twice. We're going to go straight to full screen. And this is it, guys. Good luck. Thank you for entering. There we go. So unlucky the one before, I'm really. That one after. <laughs> yeah, you were, you were so close. <laughs> but it's the Suffolk Searcher MD UK. But first of all, we just need to go and check that on the comments, Suffolk Searcher is here. Look, this is Suffolk Searcher. We click on his channel, we go to channels, and all we've got to do is check that we are here and I don't know how many this is going to be <laughs> but we'll just keep going till we find it like we said in the uh, rules you must be a public subscriber and uh, yeah we're still going we're still here <laughs> so yeah there's got a lot of channels <laughs> come on where are we where are we? There we go. And there we are. Click on that. And that's us. So, Suffolk Searcher, you have won. Please, under this video, there will be our email address. Can you let us know your address and we will get your prize out to you straight away. Thank you again for everyone that entered and for supporting us. We really do appreciate it. That's it, guys. Thanks a lot. See you soon. Bye. Well, hello there, everybody. Um, just a really quick roundup of our day with the UK metal detecting days. The coins I found are all here. These are the ones that I can identify. I'll show you these as well. Absolutely nothing on these. Completely and utterly gone. That's those two. I think they're both half pennies. They're both that sort of size. So, you know, I'm going with half a penny on them too. The ones I can tell you what they are, for instance, we've got a George V here, and as you can see, if I can just torch it for you, there he is, the man himself. Now, the size of it, and it's a big head, apparently there were two, small head and big head, this is a big head, and this would have been minted between 1911 and 1925, and I think I can just about make out 1919 front under Britannia but I might be just seeing things the other coin that I can identify without even using a torch is this lovely little Victorian 
1862, uh, 1862 sorry. Uh, and that is a lovely bonnet Victoria. That's a lovely little coin, is that? 1862. This one is another half a penny but it's the bigger one and this is a uh, 1799 this came after the cartwheel did this one and it is quite a big chunky coin um and as you can see on back there he is the man himself george v um i can actually make out on back that that is that so that is definitely a 1799 George the third, sorry, not George the fifth. I think I just said it's a George the third, seventeen ninety nine, and that was only made for one year, seventeen ninety nine. The other one is this one. Again, it's a George the third, as we can see on back. Just about to get torch on him. There he is. Look, it's a George the third, and that is I can't get the date off it, but it's an eighteen. 06 to 1807 this size and the lettering on the back was only made thus uh, two years so that's one of them we know that so those coins are all that i've got a big button here still got shank on i don't know if that's pewter i'm not sure i think it probably is uh, another little button here uh, we know on back nice all nice signals though little four roller we all get them and then this little brass dome thing. I've had these before. I don't know what they are. I don't know if they're the top of a button or something. When I found it and, and, and shined it a little bit, there were a little bit of gilt. I don't know if you can see that shining. Um, but it's dulled since I've had it. And then my little Wolseley 1500. Check that out. That is a little Wolseley number 57. Wolseley 1500 and if that were in a box like new it'd be worth about 200 quid but I looked and looked and looked for the body of it and I couldn't find it anywhere I turned some stones over I had a proper look it wasn't there guys so that's me done uh, I'll get wife to come and show you what she found and she's got a couple of nice things that weren't on the video so stay tuned Hello, as you can see, we've got crap on tap. These, this is my first find when I moved field, trusty coin. That's a ring thing. I ain't got a clue what that is, but I've saved it because of that shape in it. Far old button. Couple of three ring bullets. That's a sweet little thing. That come off it though, so but look at inside of that. Oops. Oh it's broke. I quite like that. That's a, a nineteen forty two threepenny bit. That's in good condition and I've out sealed it. That's a George the third half penny, that's eighteen oh seven. Side's a bit rough, but you can tell what it is there. Look, that's me all up for worms. This is a quite a sweet little buckle. This is from 1500s. That's nice, isn't it? I like it a lot. And this, well, we're in two minds with this. Being told it's a um, it's Saxon, could be a a, a a strap thing, you know, for across the book. But then somebody else has told me that it's one of those um, open-ended buckles uh, because it's shape on it. I know it's bent over there. But I don't. I can't see it being a buckle. I don't know. But anyway, it's got beautiful detail on it. If you're not any better. Uh, leave us a comment please like if you've not subscribed then subscribe if you don't mind <laughs>